Hey guys, Joe here with Doji Trading, and today we're going to look at setting up the open hardware monitor um, so that you can get your specs sent right on over to Touch Portal. This will be the ending result right here, uh, where you'll be able to actually just see, um, you know, everything that you got going on. So, um, nice feature. There was a request to be to have it made. Now, this right here probably looks a lot better if it was sitting behind like a black background, but just wanted to make sure that they were operating the CPU, GPU, both bar graph and um, what would you want to call that? But uh, gauge, there you go, gauge buttons. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at how we can get that set up. So first thing I want to do is shoot on over to the touch portal discord. Rep. And if you haven't already, I will leave a link in the description below so you can get here. Once you get squared away, I think you have to wait like 10 minutes if you haven't been here before. But if you have and you've already gone through that process, go ahead and scroll all the way down here under the plugins area right over here and make your way to the open hardware section. Click on that. And we can actually thank this gentleman right here for making this a fantastic plugin. What you want to do is actually just come right up over here to where it says pen messages. Go ahead and click on that. Now, the first thing you want to do, if you are considering to get any of those first four gauges, uh, which are these right here, uh, this, you know, uh, the four that we see directly in the middle of everything. If you want those, these are the actual gauges that you're going to want to go ahead and grab. So go ahead and just download these bad boys right here. And once you've grabbed those, you're going to want to go ahead and click on this link right here. And this will this will shoot on, shoot us on over to the other screen. And go ahead and click. Yep. OK, and then all we're going to do is just go ahead and take a look over here because this is where it took us over to this portion right over here. Um, for this TPP file, just go ahead and download it. Now you'll see that I already have it downloaded the open hardware monitor .tpp. right here. So I pretty much have all those files you just saw. You're actually going to see all of them. Um, you have the O H M. This one I was asking, I was asking actually in the discord chat, whether or not we need to have it. But, um, as of right now, I downloaded it either way, but you'll get links to all of them. So what I have are the, all those graphs that you saw, and then I have an example page, the hardware monitor, um, and so on and so forth. But you'll see, I just wanted to show you that the, the files that I'm going to show you or suggest that you download are files that I've actually already downloaded. So coming back over here, uh, one of the first things you're gonna actually going to need to get is openhardwaremonitor.org. You're going to want to come up over there to this website and then come on over here to the download open hardware monitor. Now, I did read in the Discord that I believe it's only supported up to the 0.9.2, but as of right now and currently, this was the version I downloaded and it seems to be working just fine. So I'm not sure if anything got adjusted or changed, but if you want to download it, this is this seems to be working for me. So just go ahead and click this right here to go ahead and go into the downloads. And then go ahead and click on this download now. And I'll do it for you one more time because it really doesn't bother me. But as you can see right here, there's an array that I've already have this file downloaded. So um, that's that. And once you get that downloaded, what you want to do is just go ahead and unzip that to wherever it is you want to unzip it. And when you open it, make sure that you right click it and run it as administrative for the first run. Um, once you have that done and you have the program open. Let me bring this down over here. Once you actually have it open, you're going to come over here to options and you're going to start minimized and minimize on close. So basically everything that's right here in this little section right here, you're going to want to make sure you have checked off. And then, um, yeah, just go ahead and minimize that if you like. And then what you want to do is go ahead and jump back into touch portal. Well, so now we have touch portal right over here and on this cog, we're going to go ahead and click that. And then you go down to plugins. And then you're going to go ahead and import the plugin that you went ahead and downloaded, which is the. The open hardware monitor. 
Yeah, I mean, look, look how, look how, I mean, I had a beta. That's a beta beta right there. Or I suspect it is, actually, I don't even know. But anyways, open hardware monitor uh, TPP, the file that you have, go ahead and open that. And then what it's going to ask you, um, it's going to say that it, you know, imported successfully and all that good stuff. Now, the very, the very thing that you need to do immediately after this is just go ahead and save it and then shut down the actual touch portal itself. I think I've realized um, while working with touch portal that it takes a lot of reboots, which is fine, you know, I mean, because it's just, you know, reconfiguring all the files. But go ahead and save that and then go ahead and restart it. So, I mean, I would generally close this down to restart it. But uh, what I'm also going to do is recommend that we go back over here to the website. So here's the uh, here's the touch portal website. Or plugin, I should say. Um, but there is I don't know why I can't let me go let me go back over there. See. All right, this is way too complicated for me. This is beyond my pay grade. Um, there's this other link that they have in the Discord, which I'm going to go ahead and link as well. And what you want to do is come over here and grab the the template. So basically, these are the four buttons that we showed that that they have in the Discord that you can go ahead and download. Um, and those are the ones that I mean, with a black background will look like and here's the sample page that you can go ahead and pick up right here. This is what I recommend that you definitely go and grab. So I went ahead and clicked on that link and then right here is a download leak. Go ahead and click on that bad boy. This one again should show. Yep, that it's an array because I already have this file. And then you're good as gold. So once you have all that done and you restarted your um, your touch portal, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and click on. Let's go to is it new page? It's a manage page. Okay, manage page. Click on manage page. Go ahead and click the import page. And then go ahead and click on the example page. I mean, obviously I have two now, so just go ahead and click on that. And once you click open, it's going to ask you for, actually it shouldn't ask you for anything, uh, but it's in a, it, it'll probably give you that lineup right in here, the page example, which it does. Now, here's the thing. When you are using the desktop version, it doesn't load. It doesn't show any of the variables here. I don't know why it just doesn't. So don't don't get hung up if you don't see any of the numbers over here without loading up your mobile version. So once you have this loaded up, I would definitely encourage you to go back to your main page or whatever page you have and create a button that sends you over to that page. So, I mean, all you would have to do is just type go to and then the navigation will give you this link. And then I went ahead and set that page to OHM page example. Click save, um, give it a name and an icon, of course and then you should be good. So I have that right down here. So as you can see on my, on the actual um, device that I do have it. So when I click it, you know, it takes me right on over there because this page already has a go to main in the top right section uh, right over here. So because there's already this, there's, you know, you're already golden. So you click on that and it takes you back and we're good. So, um, that should really be it and once you import that page again i would just go ahead and save it close it down or reload it um i think there's just one more step where it asks you if you want to trust the device or whatever go ahead and click yes on that because um it's part of the instructions so if for whatever reason you got lost during this install you come right back over to the the link that was provided which is again this right here that gives you all of the um examples that you need i found that i couldn't find these buttons here so i mean if you click on them or maybe or maybe it's just because i'm not as stylish with github so i'm not too familiar with it but i couldn't find the the buttons on here um, this just kind of teaches you and shows you the walkthrough on how you can set your buttons to respond the way that you want them and essentially it's just the exact installation instructions that we just pretty much went over. Go ahead and download the open hardware monitor. Um, it's currently tested on the 9.2, but we're on the 9.6 and you saw 
that it's currently running fine um, come on over to the open hardware monitor after you open and install it and go ahead and set these system um, options and then go ahead and import plugin oh, I guess you could have just done that without going to the cog so that's cool and then yeah that's it go ahead and click OK now restart the touch portal app make sure you fully close it and when you when he means fully close it is like go ahead and make sure you click the X button and then it come down down to the to your uh, taskbar make sure you exit out from there and then you're gonna get this nice little warning box uh, the next time you run it go ahead and trust always and then you're gonna get the open hardware monitor info tab in your actual in your actual um, settings over here open hardware monitor info and you're gonna get these little fun things that you can set up and work around with now i personally haven't dabbled in them i just wanted to see if it works plus i had a request for a video on how to get it up and running so you know hopefully that does help um but i imagine that if you actually wanted to go deeper into it you can just always pop that open and then click on any of them and simply go over how they're currently set up and that should give a you know a basic understanding of how to probably work around making your own buttons on it um let me see if there was anything else in the instructions all this is no longer necessary so on and so forth now um i did skip one file this tp ohm i haven't got like i said a response yet in the discord as to whether or not okay so actually spider-man at this exact time uh responded and he does say right here that no, the XE is included in the TV file that you downloaded. So, you know, I actually don't need to download the other additional file. So with everything that I've went ahead and instructed you on, you should be up and operational. You should, in fact, have something like this. Is, well, I mean, mine's just hideous looking, but, you know, if yours is on a better background, it should look magical. And it should just be updating all your all your uh, your computer stats so i hope this helped i'm not sure if it was accurate in the way that you may have been looking for but if you have any questions or suggestions please let me know in the comments below as always i'm here to help you out try to make this easier for everybody and uh again until next time this is joe with doji trading stay well out there and uh keep doing what you're doing